this week's item of the week is five dollars five dollars five dollars five dollars five dollars five dollars critics are five dollars the hives open at mondays and thursdays so make sure to come in and buy them sizes are limited five dollars hi i'm kareen and i'm Alon, and welcome to this week's newscast in honor of Black History Month, we will be having a Black History Assembly this Friday, February 10th, in the new gym. As always, that means we have an assembly schedule, so we won't have smart periods, so make sure to plan accordingly. It's not too late to pick up something for your boo. Ooh. Juniors are still selling Valentine's Day grams for $4 in the main hall. They come with hot chocolate, a rose, and teddy bear graham crackers. Show them some love and pick up a gram. And for date night, be sure to come to the Sophomore's Valentine's Day movie night. They'll be showing The Proposal, starring Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. And it's BYOB, bring your own blanket. Um, sophomores will be selling snacks there, so be sure to show up. It's this Friday, 4 to 7, and it's in the pit. Oh, it's also free admission. Yeah, Free admission. Much. That's really good. That's a big deal. Yeah, exactly. So a make, sure to, make sure to come. And if you don't have a date for that movie, that's okay. Pick up one of your friends a friendship bracelet and support Key Club. They are on sale in the main hall all this week for two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Wow. And if you don't want to do any of that, there will be a blood drive, so you can definitely give back to strangers and save a person's life. Um, they, it will be next next Friday, February twenty fourth, and signups are happening right now in the main hall. If you are sixteen years of age, you will need to get a permission slip in order to be able to donate. It's a really great way to save a life and give back to the community. And 16 is the youngest age of donation. So yeah. past that, you don't need a permission slip. But. So sophomores and juniors, we're looking at you. And of course seniors. <laughs> Badminton is having tryouts this Thursday, February 9th. So you have Monday, today, Tuesday, and Wednesday to go to conditioning, but four tryouts. It's not too late. Um, they'll be in the gym and after school, and be sure to meet outside beforehand. Additionally, our varsity boys basketball team will be facing against Incinel this Friday. Be sure to wear all white and show your Hornet Pride! Pride! As we all know, February 14th is the Day of Love, also known as, by other people, Valentine's Day. And we decided to make it a really festive, fun day where everybody can dress up and wear colors to show their love and appreciation for each other. So, you know, in honor of Valentine's Day, on February 14th, you should wear either red, pink, or purple, or white, or hearts, hearts or Cupid, cute stuff. Anything you feel really encapsulates that, that feeling of that day. Spread the love. And now to Environmental Committee for the Green Fact of the Week. Hi, we're the Environmental Committee, and this is your Green Fact of the Week. Did you know that California spends $25 million a month cleaning up garbage from beaches? So do your part and clean up after yourself. Thanks, and welcome to this week's sports update. I'm your host, Fred. And I'm Zaid. How are you feeling, Zaid? Well, I'm feeling great. Now let's get into sports. Men's soccer has a game this Friday against Tennyson, JVF 4, Varsity S7. <laughs> Women's soccer has a game Monday against Concord, Wednesday against San Leandro, and Friday against Tennyson. As always, JVI 4, Varsity at 7. Men's basketball has a game against Encino this Saturday, JVI 3, Varsity at 6. And lastly, our women's basketball team has a game against Berkeley and Encino on Wednesday and Saturday. On Wednesday, JV plays at 5.30, Varsity at 7. And on Saturday, JV plays at 1.30, Varsity at 4.30. Good, Good luck, Hornets! And now to Corian to last week's volleyball intramural. This week's sports committee hosted a volleyball intramural in the new gym. It was teachers versus students, and teachers won three to two. We had some awesome plays by teachers like Honeywell and Franks, who made amazing saves. Students played great as well, and we're hoping that everybody had fun. Now back to you. Thanks for watching this week's newscast, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>